Hi, I'm Bert Young, and don't go anywhere. Profiles is coming right up. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Marley Hall. Today's guest is Academy Award nominated actor, Burt Young. A veteran of over 75 feature films, Young is best known for his recurring role of Polly in the Rocky films. And currently he's been keeping busy on his latest movie, you guessed it, Rocky VI, currently in production in Philadelphia. After a short break, we'll join our host Mickey Burns as he welcomes the likable Burt Young to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles. Besides his acting prowess, Burt Young is also an accomplished artist. He recently presented an exhibition of his paintings entitled Burt Young on Canvas at the Jade Nectar Gallery here in the Big Apple. And his artwork is quite a contrast from his career as an actor, which often found him typecast as a tough guy thug, a role he consistently plays to perfection. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, on location at Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar in the heart of New York City as he welcomes the talented Burt Young to Profiles. Burt Young, welcome to our show, Profiles. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. For our viewers, Academy uh, Award nominated actor, been in over 75 films, almost 100 by today, yeah, even more probably. Yeah, sure. However, best known for your recurring role as Paulie in the Rocky films. I guess that's something that has been at the nucleus of your career for many years now. It's been fun. I bet it has. It's quite a ride for you. 35 years. Unbelievable. Yeah, the, it's hard to believe that it's been that long, but it has been. Isn't that great? Uh, have you enjoyed the ride? Mostly. Uh, mostly. The last stretch, it's been 15 years since the last one. And doing it now, this, and with his his input, Sylvester, mm -hmm. is perhaps the most exciting movie of my career so far. Wow, that says a lot. Uh, you're also an artist and currently here in New York City uh, for an exhibition of your paintings called Burt Young on Canvas. Be here through, uh, it'll, the exhibit will be through May at the Jade Nectar Gallery here in New York. Yeah. Has, has this been a dream of yours for a long time to have your own exhibit here in New York? I didn't expect it. <laughs> I didn't expect it, but I always, I always enjoyed my paintings. Yeah. I always, yeah. They, they, made, they made me feel wealthy. Yeah. And so I'd paint a lot wherever I, 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 I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I wake up, I, I feel like uh, I got money in the bank. Yeah, you said about uh, your painting, you said, my work is an examination of my imagination and my life through color and it shows me in my environment. That's the way you feel about it? Wow. You I said, said that. that so you have said that. That's intelligent. <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And you, Could and you say it again for me? Well, <laughs> you, 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 I did want to mention through color. So yes. color is a big part of what you big do. Big part. See, you got a yellow wall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That gives me something. But I feel like starting, bang, with yellow. Sure. So the color is what triggers your imagination. Could start me. Could start me, or it might be a topical thing. It might be an event. Mm -hmm. And I, I use acrylic, mm -hmm. and I could almost sculpt with it. Pow, pow, mm -hmm. and shape, and uh, and it dries quick too. <laughs> Now, uh, also been busy of late, working on Rocky VI. What is it based on? He did something. I'm going to tell you, the only one that knows. I'm going to tell you how this works. Because 59-year-old guy, right. he's not hiding it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you remember when Ali couldn't get licensed? Yes. And they computerized his fight with... Rocky. Marciano, I remember that. And he got, I think, maybe he got a million. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually you divide by three, yeah, you know, yeah. with figures. But he got a hunk of money. And now this new outfit during the movie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. comes up with the idea of doing that with tennis matches, doing that sure. with uh, basket giants. Football. And yeah. all of a sudden, 
They have a very lackluster champion at the moment, and they come up with how could he do against Rocky Balboa. Wow. So they put that on the air. So the young, the young champ not getting any kind of following, all of a sudden his promoter sees the action generated by this show, yeah. and they want one fight. Sure. And Rocky is unhappy. He's a solitary man these days. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go further than that. Okay. But he's a single fella, and he's sad, mm -hmm. soggy, no place to walk. And he says, why not? Why not? And he ain't looking at a career. He just wants to strike out. One yeah. last time. And he attacked it as a director, as a writer, as an actor. Sure. He, he, he wouldn't leave the set. So I'm all that excitement that he generated, I still have it. I'm still feeling it. Right. So th this sounds like some project that you're involved in. Yeah. Uh, sequels seldom deliver. However, that's not been the case with the Rocky series. Why, why so? Why has the Rocky series... Si this is the fifth sequel. Because it, it, it has a, a background of action, the boxing, mm -hmm. and the boxing characters. But it's really about the common man. And it's about a man, uh, man and woman. And family. Standing. Don't even have to win. Right. Just say, hey, knock me down, but I'm going to stand up. Get and that's what again. it's about. Every man who, who tries. Who tries, right. Uh, I also read somewhere that after Rocky V, uh, that you and Sly, for the first time, stopped talking to each other for a period of time uh, because you had a disagreement with some of the elements in the film. As he did in the past, this time he ignored some of your suggestions for improvements. Is that true? Yes. And everything's uh, worked out at this point? My daughter worked it out. <laughs> How did she do that? She said, we had, not and that's information that's very private and quiet, but coming from you, it feels family. I don't okay, mind. okay. <laughs> she, uh, she grew up with Rocky, okay. with the movie, with this task, my, yes. my daughter. Yes. And uh, out of nowhere, when he was doing The Contender, starting it. Right. She said to me, Daddy, do you remember when you and Sylvester used to write together yeah. and everybody would quiet down mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and the way you were bright together and thoughts would bounce? She says, Daddy, I really miss that. And that's all she said. And I, I, I realized how much I missed it, too. Sure. You know, and uh, when they asked if I would go to his contender show, that was the first time we talked in seven years, oh. eight years. Uh, and I went there and he asked me, he says, they're not going to let me do this script, but I only want your opinion. <laughs> Tell me what you think. There you go. And uh, from there, and what I thought was, wow. Yeah. Wow, because yeah. it had the elements of the first one. Right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with much more on Profiles after these important announcements. Welcome back to Profiles. I'm Marley Hall. Currently, Young is working on Rocky VI, the latest sequel in the Rocky franchise. And according to Young, the Rocky fight scenes are the best ever put on film. However, Young also feels that the original Rocky movie really isn't a boxing movie, but rather a film about people standing up and then evolved into a delicate love story. Now back to Mickey Burns with actor Burt Young. In question, the, the problem uh, was created because in question was a script disagreement in which Paulie mishandled Rocky's money and threatened to kill himself. What was it about that storyline that didn't sit well with you? Well, when you, when you, this was with Rocky V, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Paulie had just, not with larceny in mind, just with the stupidity, yep. signed away the, the empire. Right. And now the house was being boxed and packaged, and mm -hmm, Rocky mm -hmm. was taking it evenly and well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, my sister was taking it, and Paulie was looking like the same glom. But in my mind, in my heart, I felt when you lose an empire, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. someone should die or come close to dying. Yeah. Empires are hard to make. Right. And so in the scene, which Sylvester had written, Paulie's eating, drinking, mm -hmm. the same sloppy guy. Yeah. But in the middle of it, 
the quiet kitchen, he takes out a gun and he's going to do himself. Sylvester walks by the doorway by accident and he stops, he sees, and he talks poorly out of it and down from it. Right. And then we go back to Philadelphia in the small house. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. that scene really was crucial. To me, I felt I could understand the downslide and I could understand yeah, sure. the rebirth. And the, it was in the movie up until two weeks before distribution, and uh, I said, it must stay in there. It's important. And so everybody denied taking it out. I don't know. It, maybe it was Who took a, it out? Maybe an elf. <laughs> but the, but the, the director denied it, Sylvester denied. Okay, but you were really unhappy about that. Very. Okay.